Koran chapter 2. Chapter 2, let us read. There is a problem on this verse here. Because according to the Muslim belief, we find something very serious here. It says, This is the book. In this in it is guardian show without doubt to those who fear Allah, who believe in the unseen and are steadfast in prayer and spend out of what we have provided for them, and who believe in the revelation sent to you and sent before your time, and in their hearts have the assurance of the hereafter. They are on true guardians from dear Lord, and in and it is these who will prosper. The part in green and the part in yellow is a problem. Why is that a problem? Because first thing, according to Muslims, many Muslims have this propaganda that you cannot be a true Muslim if you don't believe in the Bible, if you don't believe in Jesus, if you don't believe in Moses, if you don't believe in Isaac, if you don't believe in Abraham, you cannot be a true Muslim. So you have to believe in the older prophets, you have to believe in the older generations, in the older prophets and the older revelations, otherwise you're not a Muslim. So, what is the problem? And who believe in the revelation sent to you and sent before your time? And in their hearts have the assurance of the hereafter. And they are true guardians from their Lord. I hope the word dear Lord, according to what Muslims will come and tell me in the comment section. No, when they say dear Lord here, it doesn't mean any, it doesn't mean um, the, the Jews are going to go with dear Lord. And, and the, 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 for example, the, 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 the Sabians are going to go with dear Lord because we are going to find the verse again here in chapter 2 who says that even the Sabians, chapter 2 verse 60 something, chapter 2 verse 62 says that even the Sabians, even any other person who believes in whatsoever they want to believe, they will have a word from their Lord and then we are going to find it very, very soon. We are coming to that chapter very soon, one by one. So in this chapter, what is my problem? My problem is that if a Muslim says he believes in the Bible, and at the end of the day, he comes and tells people that the Bible has been corrupted. The Bible we have today has been corrupted. And they believe that the Bible was the actual revelation of Allah himself. And the Injil was the actual revelation of Allah himself. And then today they come and tell us the Bible is corrupted. Then there is also a problem. That it means they believe that God is not able to secure what he has revealed to them. Secondly, also, if the Christians, they are believing and they are having a reward from their Lord, it means at the end of the day, Muslims have to conclude and understand that hey what does dear lord here means according to what i'm reading according to the yusuf ali translation dear lord simply means the god who was who actually sent these revelations but according to the bible who sent the revelation of the bible it is jesus christ the father sent the revelation sent the bible to us through inspiration through inspiration the apostles went and did all the things that they did the the prophets did what they did and then they, they were inspired and then they wrote everything, they remembered everything by the Holy Spirit. So that's it. So the problem now comes here. If you are claiming to be a Muslim, you a Muslim, you have to go back to the Bible. You have to read what is written in the Bible and you have to understand that what is written in the Bible today is not, has never been tempered with. Nobody was joking with it. Like for example, I can come here today as I'm writing this, as I'm putting paint all over, the, all over this Quran. You may believe that, okay, I am so stronger than your Lord because he said nobody can actually alter what is written there. And I come and alter maybe one or two passages in my Microsoft Word. And then I just go there, I print out millions of copies and I share it to people. People start believing in nonsense. So please, please, please pay attention to the fact that you have to go back to what is written in the Bible. You have to understand what is written in the Bible. And you will clearly, by write, reading what is written in the Bible, you will understand that there is a problem with the entire Quran. Surrender your life to Christ. Stay blessed.